Yes, indeed, I'm back again. I'm Donald Brooks, in case you can't recognize me in my mask. Can you read it? Miss Von Burton, can you read my mask? Uh, yeah. Yes, I, right. I sure can. Yeah. I hope everybody is uh, taking precaution. That's the reason why I wore it on the air, to remind people we need to take precaution. We're not out of the woods on this COVID thing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get into it. This one is going to be called White Washing History. Yes, let me say it again in case you are listening. White Washing History. Alrighty. You know, I always thought that what happens is in the past. You can't change it. You might want to improve upon it, but you can't change it. That's what I thought until I was enlightened by our governor of Texas, Governor Abbott. He's rewriting the history books. He's saying things like, there never was any problem. Let's not talk about slavery. Let's talk about the great people that made this state great. The founding fathers. Oh. You want to say something? It seemed like you want to inject something, Mr. Von Burton. I'm, I, I really, I'm just shocked. It's just like, what? But at the same time, I shouldn't be shocked because it's not like this hasn't been happening for a long time long, long time, but just expressing shock. Carry on. Well, thank you for allowing me to carry on. Uh, he has decided that we're going to change the what, what do call it? curriculum, the curriculum in the public schools. We're not going to teach these the other part of our history. We're going to glorify the people that made this country great, the founding fathers. You know the founding fathers, the one who had slavery. You know those those guys. Yeah. He wants us to uh, glorify them. But that's not the bad part. Well, it's, that's bad it gets enough. worse? Oh, it's, it's much worse. Have you ever heard of critical race theory? Yes. You have? Yes. Well, I haven't. I, I'm not up on these new things, so when I hear something new that's in the news, I've got to do a little research. I don't, this is not news, but it's come into vogue, so to speak. Critical race theory, if I can read, is a social construct that racism encompasses more than the individual. In other words, I don't like you because you're a woman, or I don't like Juan because he's Mexican. It's more than just a person. It is embedded in the fabric of this country, the political fabric, the social fabric, all things that have to do with this country and what has to do with uh, uh, different uh, places in the legal system, so to speak. That's what it's about. That's critical race theory. And uh, if anybody doesn't believe that exists, they are either crazy or they're lying to themselves or to their audience. We know that racism is not something just between me and another person. It's embedded in our system. It keeps certain people from having the same opportunities as the other people in the system. And let it also be known that racism is a taught behavior. It is something that is learned and not necessarily born. Yes, yes. Oh, amen. Racism is taught. You have two little, we talked about this on one of the Don Brooks show. You have two little kids. They gotta be taught to hate, or taught to think the one is better than the other. So uh that's what he's doing, but I wanna tell our great governor this. This is what I wanna tell him. You can't change the past. I don't care how great and how powerful you are in your office, you can't change the past. You can't sign a bill that's gonna whitewash everything that's been done. Because in being a, in being unpatriotic is basically what I can see you you're trying to do if you want to whitewash history. Let's learn from it, but let's not whitewash it. That's it for now, unless Ms. Von Burden you would like to have a closing thought. Um yeah, no whitewashing. <laughs>
<laughs> See y'all next week.